Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel of Developers and Coders Club and IT Agarkola. So here we will be discussing the problem number C, insert an equalize of educational code courses round 159. So in this problem you are given some an integers which are distinct and you have to insert one more integer and that should not equal to any of previous given integers and then you have to choose a positive integer x which is greater than zero of course because it is positive integer and in oper in one operation you can add x to exactly one element now you have to choose a malab means the in extra integer and this x such that you have to perform the smallest number of operation operations to make all elements equal so what can we do uh, let's look at the input and output to make it the things easier so here the first line is a single integer test case then in every test case there is num an element uh, which are the n integers that you have to make equal uh, by choosing this a n plus 1 and x now what should be the basic idea first you have to see this this example to figure out how we can do it so basically here you can see 1 2 3 now if you take the fourth number 4 wait i say uh, just suppose you are given uh, 1 2 and 3 now you take the a and plus 1 uh, sorry here the a and plus 1 4 okay and x is equal to 1 now see how many steps you have to perform to make things equal all 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 elements so here you have to do it thrice here twice and here once and three two five one six here you can see six now let's see for this one okay so here you are given this thing to that if you take a n plus one thirteen and x four then you will get this and same here you can take 9 and 1 and you will get the answer but now you will think you will be thinking like how we can know that what do we have to choose so if you think of increasing numbers and making things equal so what's the best possible way to do it you have to find out a number such that you you get on adding it to all numbers uh, different different type times uh, you can get the same value like wait I uh, you might not be getting it like that I show you like here you are given six and eight now if you take the number two and add here with 6 twice uh, 6 wait 6 plus 2 plus 2 you will get 10 ok now with 8 you do it plus 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 so if we had the number 6 and 8 then we could do this right and make the number equal now you have to take a number for this big uh, integer, integers and such that you are getting this thing. So what do you think? First of all, we would uh, have to find out this number. How can we find out? So instinctively, uh, if you are just adding numbers, then you will think of multiples. So here, uh, 
basically i didn't have that many logics in mind so my basic approach was to find that gcd because uh, with gcd you can get the highest common factor or greatest common divisor for all numbers right so if we are adding that number then we can finally get the number that for which uh, that you can get from all the numbers by adding that gcd multiple times wait just like here you can see for 6 and 8 what is gcd of this two two so we are adding just two two and we are getting a number such that this uh, after adding two twice here and here once we are getting a number that is equal for both uh, similarly here you can see here uh, you have chosen this four now here you can see uh, we add it here four four times and you will get 17 Here, you have to add it like uh, how many times? Nineteen, four, fifteen, uh, five, four, nine times, right? Nine, four, thirty-six, thirty-six, nineteen, seventeen, right? So here you have to add nine times. Here you don't have to add. Here you have to add it like five times. and here again eight times and you will get that 17 17 17 everywhere and here we have taken a n plus 1 13 so 13 plus 4 17 and you can see 17 equal for all ah uh, not getting it completely here i show you in a new page oh uh, see here um You are given this one minus nine ten seventeen minus three and minus fifteen. See what is the GCD of these numbers? Uh, see here we can see these two numbers are negative these three so it will be a little tough if we use, we do it con normally so best ways to get uh, use some comparator and suppress them in a positive way uh, i mean you do something such that you get the values positive values for which the gcd of these numbers will be same so for this we simply uh, if we get we arrange this in ascending order first so what will be ascending order of this minus 19 minus 15 minus 3 1 and 17 and then simply we just subtract this smallest number to all these numbers so minus 19 19 that will be zero here four and here 16 here 20 and here 36 now see what will be the gcd of this thing four of course right so you can see here we have taken x four so for everywhere you just have to take the gcd and G gcd is not of this number but it is about the differences here you can see difference between this two 20 here 36 here you can see again 19 and 3 16 here 4 so it is about differences because that's what you have to make equal in the end now you have to see uh, what else we have to do so after finding out this x you have to find find out 
some a n plus 1. Now you have two ways to find that. Uh, actually, there's one way, but your mind will think of two ways probably because uh, you can do it two ways. Like for me, it was like uh, I, I was trying to add this, this x to the biggest number uh, and get a number such that such, such that you can add uh, that gcd uh, multiple times here and you can get that number right but that would not work because that will that that won't get you the minimum step here we, in this question you have to use the smallest number of operations too so best way is to get a number if possible uh, lesser than this biggest number and which is also like uh, on adding this wait so you can see so here we our our x is four right so on adding four multiple times to that number you can get 17 too so that is our basic approach now what we have to do is find out that number now what we can do to find out that number see every time we just subtract this x to uh, 17 and check in this if this four exists in this vector or not vector array whatever you say and if it exists then we cannot take that but if it doesn't exist you can take it so here we can see uh, 17 minus 4 13 does 13 exist in this vector no so we can take 13 here for every question you have to do it like that for here uh, here you can see 1 2 3 uh, see 1 2 3 Uh, one, two, three. So here it is one, two, and three. Now, what first of all we have to find out that this thing, difference one. So, uh, one minus one is zero, one minus uh, two minus one is one, three minus one is two. Uh, what will be what would be the gcd of this one one so here x equal to one now we have to find out the a what would be the a so here you have to see simply for a we have to subtract the numbers so here three minus one two two exist here then three minus one or uh, three minus two that would be one that exists two but three minus three zero does zero exist no so that is our a m a m plus one uh now we have to see if this works or not so uh if we take zero one two and three here we add Three times, uh, three times to get three. Then for second one we do it twice. For third one we do it once, and you get the uh, six. Uh, so now we have to see what else we need to do. Uh, in this question, you you don't have to tell the a n one a n plus one or and x you took, but you have to tell the minimum number of operations you have done. So that is simple in the end that you have to take this a n plus one in your vector, and then just subtract uh, all values from that the largest number you took, and then add up all.
so here uh, if uh, i will show you the code then it will it would get simpler for you so here wait so simply in this code we have done we took all the inputs first uh, this dot Uh, first total number total number of test cases them in each test case and integers so here we have taken them all in this vector now we have sorted the vector to get the smallest and biggest number from the vector now we have simply the subtracted the values that a smallest value from all the values of the vector and then we have calculated the gcd uh, gcd and we found out uh, our x but now we have to find find the am so simply as i told earlier like here you just have to subtract this x to this biggest value of the vector and fi find out the largest value that is not in the vector so simply i have done the binary search here i use the binary search to know if the number exists or not and then if it doesn't exist in the vector then i have taken it like for a n plus 1 and after that i have simply calculated the number and then output that's it uh you can see here my approach is a little different because i have calculated this this difference before that and after that i found out this an plus 1 but you can find out an plus 1 first and then do this thing this difference thing and find out your result this l l is the number of minimum number of operations you have to do uh that that will be all for this question uh that's it thank you for watching